We're in a junkyard in Los Angeles. Come here, I wanna show you something. Tonight, I'm going to attempt a most dangerous escape. I'm gonna be bound by chains, hand and foot. We'll show you how we do that later. I'm gonna be locked in the trunk of this car. But that's not the escape. Suspended above the car is that truck, 30 feet above the car, the release mechanism set on a 30 second timer. If I'm not out of the chains, out of the trunk for 30 seconds, that truck is gonna barrel down and smash this car to smithereens. But that's not the hard part. The car is rigged with explosive charges. When that truck hits, well, you get the idea. We got a lot of preparation to do, so I'll see you later. From Los Angeles, California, it's the World Magic Award. And now, here is the host of our show, Jonathan Fakes. Our next performer has a different approach toward magic. He sneaks up and tickles it. He's one of the best comic magicians known today. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this year's award for best comedy magic, David Williamson. What I do is very serious. Hi, young man, how are you? Can I borrow that? Thank you so much. I don't do comedy magic, folks. It's the classics. It's nothing less than the creation of life. <laughs> Now, just, no, turn, I wouldn't turn off, the switch was broken. Sir, what's your name? John. Uh, there's a name, John? John. I'm, you're hypnotizing me with it. Sir, what's your name? Blake. Blake, would you shuffle John's tie? We don't even need the cards, forget that. Do me a favor, John, would you yes, shuffle sir. the cards as much as you like? That is a sealed, hermetically sealed pack of cards, a brand new deck. I want you to shuffle those as much as you like. It doesn't matter how much you shuffle the cards, because we're going to use these over here with you. Hi, how are you? What is your name? Renee. Lovely, Renee. Beautiful. Would you shuffle the cards as much as you like a red deck to match that? That's enough. Just try not to get them out of order, if you don't mind. There's the Gibson. Take out any card you like, Renee. Work with Mr. Magic. I'm not as good as the guys on TV. You know what I want you to do, Renee? Reach into the pack and pull out a card, but don't let me see what it is. Okay, show it to everybody else, but don't let me see the card. Renee, selected a card. John, you can look at it, but I won't look. I've seen it before anyway. It doesn't matter. Did you see one there, Renee? Do you remember the card? Renee, I want you to put the card back in the pack wherever you like, all right? You ready? Okay, wherever you want. Just hop the... <laughs> 16, okay, Renee, when I snap my fingers, your card will jump from the center of the pack. It's going to make 17 revolutions in midair, and I'm gonna catch it in my other hand. Watch close, okay, it's gonna be fun. Here we go. You ready, Renee? Yes. <laughs> One card jumps out of the pack. There it is, what was your card, Renee? Queen of Hearts. And it's changed into the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> is it over there? No, it's not even on your card. Mr. Magic made a little mistake, I'm sorry there. That's a little Queen of Hearts for you, a little souvenir. What was your card, really? Because we'll fix this later when we edit the show. King of Clubs, we'll just hold that right there. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. And there it is, the King of Clubs. Works every time. Hold your Queen of Hearts right up here. No, keep it. What is it now? Look at it. That's because the Queen is over here. They change places. Do you have those pieces? Yes. Renee, John, hold the pieces in your hand. Make a fist squeeze tight. Do you believe in the healing powers? Yes, I do. I believe the proper response. Read it. Repeat after me. I will never. I will never. Say what others. Say what others. People tell me to say. People tell me to say. <laughs> okay, I'll blow on your hand with my laser breath, but I'll protect you with my lead line tie. <laughs> John, have those pieces fuse one of themselves back together. Open your hand. Do you believe in the healing powers? Of course yes, you do. do. There it is, the king of clubs as good as new, except for the wrinkles. Look at that. Blake, blow on the card. Blow on the card, son, blow. Blow on the card, blow on the card. Right through your teeth, there it is. All the wrinkles are gone, look at that. Oh. It's as good as new, all the wrinkles are gone. Fantastic job, in fact, do me a favor. Stand up over here, stand up, stand up. See right there, blow right there on his forehead. The wrinkles are still there, Blake. You gotta, <laughs> only works with cards. Sit down, Blake. Sit down, nice try, son. Folks, I just happen to have some big cards, and I'm wondering if anybody in the audience brought any. Did you happen to have four big cards? 
Oh, good, 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 good. Because we're going to do a trick with these four cards. Oh, okay, calm down. Now, pay attention, everybody. I want you, Blake, do you have your cards, John? Pay attention. Yes. Renee, got it? Okay, here's what we do. Four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay? Four cards. Everybody has their four cards? Okay. Do you have your four cards? Does anybody need four cards? Okay, you got them. You need four cards over there, sir? Good, okay. Four cards. One, I think one's, yeah, one, two, here we go. Here's the way this trick works. And I want you all to follow along and do everything that Mr. Magic does, okay? Blake, are you watching closely, son? Take the top card. Now, follow along. Take the top card, turn it face up, and put it on the bottom. Go ahead. Next card face down on the bottom. Turn the whole thing over. Turn the top card face down. Pull the bottom card out, turn it face down, put it back on bottom. Great, great job. And we should have four face down cards. Just, no, Renee, no, you weren't paying attention. John, that's wrong. Blake, how did you get two face up? Folks, what, did anybody get it right? A thousand people? Pay attention this time! We're gonna do it again. Okay, we're gonna do it again first. Let's start again. Four face down, let's start from the, it's my fault. I didn't explain it right. I didn't explain it right. Top card, face up on the bottom. Good. Next card, face down on the bottom. Turn the whole thing over. Turn this card face down. Pull the bottom card out. Turn it face down, back on bottom. They should all be face down, just like that. No, you did it wrong, John! Wrong, Renee! Pay attention! Let's do it again. I'm explaining it right. One more time, quickly this time. Top card, face up on the bottom. Next card, face down on the bottom. Turn the whole thing over. Turn the top card face down, bottom card face down on the bottom. They should all four be face down. No! One more time! <laughs> Tough crowd. Winner of the award for best comedy magic, David Williamson. Coming up, the Russian army allows Franz Harari to enter a top secret location where he'll attempt to vanish a T-54 tank into thin air. Then, he'll try a first ever escape from a solid steel crate suspended above the stage. World-class magician Ayala dazzles with the most amazing magic ever seen on television. Plus the comedy magic of Ed Alonzo and Will Tremont prepares to do battle with a five-ton truck. Thank you. You know, as entertaining as magic is, many magicians find themselves involved in activities that are not just for entertainment's sake. One of the most amazing feats of magic this evening will be performed by all of us. Everyone here tonight will be helping to save the life of a child because a portion of the proceeds from this program will be going to UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund. Our next magician has been called the Magic Theater Man. His innovative style has helped him become one of the foremost magicians of our time, combining theater and magic to create a truly unique style. Ladies and gentlemen, the award winner for Best Cabaret Magic Male, Ed Alonzo. Wow. People always come up to a magician and they say, how did you do that trick? People always come up to me and they say, what's the deal with your hair? So I'll give you that secret tonight. You need a lot of mousse, you need a lot of gel, and a lot of hairspray. And now, you can't use a blow dryer to create this kind of volume. You need a fan. Now, it just can't be a regular household fan. It can be small, it has to be powerful. It has to be an industrial fan.
winner of the award for best cabaret magic male, Ed Alonzo. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present now one of the most respected women in the world of magic and chairperson of the World Magic Awards Board of Directors, Ms. Gay Blackstone. Thank you, Jonathan. About once every generation, an artist comes along who embodies the spirit of magic unlike any of his peers, a person whose level of mystery and mastery and contribution to the art form sets him apart from all the others. Even more rare is when such mastery is passed from one generation to another in the same family. Unless, of course, the family name happens to be Blackstone. The name Blackstone has been associated with Grand Illusion for over a hundred years. The great Harry Blackstone Sr. introduced his son Harry Jr. to the act, teaching him the legendary illusions the Blackstone name is known for. Harry went on to star in his own television specials, Broadway shows, and guest on hundreds of programs around the world. He designed and produced illusions for rock concert tours, and together with his wife Gay, introduced magic to millions of fans. And for the Blackstone Award, the famous name will continue to be synonymous with excellence. In Harry's memory, a special award has been established for lifetime achievement in the magical arts. It is an honor to present this award to a pair of magicians whose ingenuity, creativity, and continued dedication to the art of magic has set them apart from the rest, sometimes far apart. The magicians I'm referring to are the winners of this year's Blackstone Award, Penn and Teller. Join us for wicked comedy, loud music, and of course, evil magic. Right, Fifi? Huh? Look. Fifi's fine. See? Happy. Say, Uncle Pierre. Uncle, Uncle. Mine's are the greatest. Winners of the Blackstone Award, Penn and Teller. Hi, thanks for the award. Uh, sorry we can't be there in person. We're, we're, we're right outside. We just couldn't get in because we don't have tuxedos. We've been thrown out of more than enough magic events in our life. Thanks a lot for this award. Uh, the Blackstone Award means a lot to us. Uh, Harry was a, a good friend of ours. And also, uh, uh, Blackstone Sr. was the first magic show teller ever saw. So it's, uh, it was quite an inspiration. He saw the scantily clad chorus girls dragging the uh, schmata down the aisle. And he also uh, got to see the buzzsaw illusion, one of the first big tricks Teller ever saw, and that's what he, he learned was the way to do a magic show. So, uh, hey, Blackstone, it's your fault. Penn and Teller, it's your fault. Oh, nuclear war in a year and a half. Don't sweat the awards. Our next magician has been said to have gone beyond the showmanship of conventional magic. She is truly an exceptional artist, and when you see her, you'll see why she is this year's winner for Best Cabaret Magic Female, ladies and gentlemen, Tina Leonard.
now it's time to present our next award winner, a magician whose illusions are fresh and his magic absolutely dazzling. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner for best stage magic, Ayala.
winner of the award for best stage magic, Ayala. Right now, I'd like to introduce a performer who is turning heads with her unique style, incorporating a dazzling blend of sound and light with her performance of magic. This magician is destined for greatness. The winner of this year's award for rising star of magic, please welcome, Mistina. Winner of the award for Best Rising Star of Magic, Mistina. Right now, Will Tremont is getting ready to go through with his dangerous escape attempt. Let's join him once again to see if he's almost ready. Now for the fun part. The officers are going to chain me up. First, the wrists. Don't be afraid to make it tight. <laughs> Notice how my flesh is distended on the wrist. It actually hurts. Okay, get the lock on there and I'll pass the chain over my right shoulder. It goes around my waist. This is kind of like being trussed up like a Christmas goose. Okay, over the shoulder. Between the legs now for the feet. The key to this whole escape is the handcuffs. Unfortunately for me, the handcuffs are they're not anywhere near my wrists. The handcuffs connect the chains that bind my body and my feet. Yeah, you get a good pull there. Yes, that's <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that's tight. There you go. That's it. Yeah, go four or five links down. Tighten it up. If I can spring the handcuffs, I can get out. I'm not saying it can't be done, but I'm going to be in the trunk of that car. It's going to be dark, and I don't have much time to do it. Don't go away. I'm not going anywhere. And now, I'd like to present a young man who has, in a very short time, grasped the concept of magic and perfected his craft to a level of professionalism that is usually only seen in seasoned veterans, like myself. We discovered this newcomer across the pond, as they say. We take you now to England, Thornberry Castle, where we join this year's winner of the award for best young performer, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Rushton. 
Thornbury Castle has a royal history and mystery dating back hundreds of years. Commissioned in the 16th century by the third Duke of Buckingham, it was a grand castle in the true sense of the word. But as the Duke was beheaded for treason by Henry VIII, it was never completed. Many say the Duke has never really left his bedroom. He is often seen sitting in his fireplace pondering, perhaps, the completion of his castle. We find now the original tower of Thornbury Castle, the perfect setting for the performance of magic. Here is Nick Rushton. Winner of the award for Best Young Performer, Nick Rushton. No doubt, one of the reasons Franz Harari was voted Magician of the Year is his willingness to go that extra mile to amaze audiences everywhere. Nothing is too big when it comes to magic as you're about to see in this next piece from Franz Harari. Ladies and gentlemen, in Russia, here is our special guest, Roger Moore. With the change to a market economy here, many items never before available to Russians are finding their way to store shelves. Some point to this as evidence of a new prosperity. Others claim that this only fosters greed not seen during the Soviet era. They say that everything is for sale in the new Russia. So we thought, what better place than Moscow to undertake one of the world's most amazing magical feats? And it was quite simple, actually. As we explained to our Russian military friends, we didn't even want to buy a 24,000 pound tank, we only wanted to rent it. There was only one tiny detail that we left out. Franz Harari was going to attempt to make it disappear. And we only hope that if he did make it disappear, he would also be able to bring it back. All right, this is it. From the moment the magic starts, that camera will not cut away. And remember, what you're watching at home is exactly the same as if you were here with us in Russia. All right, gentlemen, are you ready? And move the portals, bring them together. All right, give me lights. Do it. Now. Gentlemen, move the portals. Yeah. We did it. Come on, guys, check it out. Oh, yeah.
And now, a moment we've all been waiting for, the culmination of hours of preparation for the dangerous escape about to be attempted by Will Tremont, this year's best up-and-coming magician. Let's all wish him luck as he's about to go. Okay, well, I'm ready. Let's do it. We did it! <laughs> Absolutely amazing! Will Tremont! Congratulations to Will and to all the World Magic Award winners, and thank you very much for joining us and supporting the magical arts. And a special thanks to Roger Moore and UNICEF for their tireless efforts for children in need. Good night, everyone. Which famous model was engaged to the magician David Copperfield? Christy Turlington, Kate Morse, Claudia Schiffer, Naomi Campbell. The answer is Claudia Schiffer. If you got that wrong, you could have lost a lot of money. Feel the need, greed. That's after the news update with Claire Byrne, next.